Hey everybody, uh, today I'm going to show you how to use a Israeli bandage, Izzy, uh, compression bandage. Uh, there's different um, terms for it. A lot of people call it the Izzy bandage. Has these tear tabs. First of all, save the packaging and I'll tell you why. Uh, as you tear through it, there's some potential uses for it. The way these are wrapped, they're vacuum sealed, they have an outer packaging and they have an inner packaging. The inner packaging is a little tougher sometimes to save, but do your best. Try to save it. Um, got some trauma shears, it'll be easier to cut it. But uh, the reason I say try to save these uh, as you're treating wounds, you may find that you can use this as a chest seal. If you have a abdominal, as I say, you know, you know what I'm trying to say. If you have um, exposed guts, I hate to say it like that. Uh, the protocol for that is to store them moist. You don't want to try to shove them back in. So you could cover them up and then wrap this around gently to try to stabilize the uh, patient. So that's one use again, chest seals. So basically what this is, is a ace, a wide ace bandage with a gauze pad, like a, a what's that? Uh, not six by nine, but this is the six inch bandage. So I guess that would be a four by six, right? Or something like that. Anyway, I think I'd be better prepared. Um, so what you do, basically if you have a deep cut and you need to pressure, uh, apply pressure, you take and you wrap this around. It's got this little bar. You'll go through this bar and come back the opposite way. I'll show you real quick. This bar catches on pretty fast. This is to help create more tension. So you'll come back around as you come around, you can twist it and add more pressure. Right now, there's a lot of pressure. And then when you get to the end, there's these little hooks where you can hook it in. So that's one way if you have some major bleeding and you've already packed the wound. Maybe you didn't need to pack the wound, but you went ahead and added your compression bandage, your Izzy. Um, that's the primary use uh, for this, for hemorrhage, hemorrhage control. It can be a makeshift tourniquet. I don't suggest it. Again, if you are applying that pressure and you're wrapping it against itself and getting it real tight, you may occlude, uh, you know, blood loss. Um, so, but I would not depend on that for sure. Um, Another thing uh, for not just extremity cuts, but again, I was showing you for the abdomen, the abdomen wound, wrapping it around there. Um, if you needed to uh, have a makeshift stabilize your arm, makeshift. Uh, what am I? What's the word I'm looking for? Help me out there. Uh, uh, So a makeshift sling, if I needed to stabilize an arm, uh, if I needed to stabilize uh, legs together in movement, I could wrap them together, uh, and try to stabilize the patient that way. Um, neck wound, where you can't use a tourniquet, obviously. You put this here, and you gotta be careful how you wrap it obviously because you don't want to choke the patient out <laughs> um, these have a lot of usages they're under ten dollars um, you put a, i should i would carry one uh, wherever i go in case you had some some challenges the reason they have the name uh israeli bandage is the idf and israeli military uh, carry these they kind of made them famous um, it could be a makeshift um, 
bandage for a knee sprain or uh, ankle sprain or something you could wrap it up obviously that's not its intended purpose you can buy a cheaper ace bandage to put in your kit but if you just had this one item you can see all the different uses um, of course anywhere where you have bleeding if you have a you know head um, cut or something you can wrap it around I uh, say an eye trauma you could put it on that was really weird but uh, yeah they're very useful they have a lot of uses and uh, I really suggest having one uh, in your kit and if you have any other ideas or other uses um, sound off below let me know and let the viewers know how you would use these and I hope you enjoyed this little tip so until next time catch you later